Hey guys, I'm back and I have a wonderful doll review to show you today. Uh, this morning I got the limited edition live action Belle doll uh, to coincide with the new Beauty and the Beast uh, live action film. Um, I'm so excited to have this doll and I'm, uh, I'm just in awe of her. My dad got me her. Um, because I loved the film so much and because I couldn't get um, the winter bell that came out last October I believe so this was a replacement for that but today I'm going to show you a review and go into detail about this beautiful doll and um, if you've got any questions about this doll because I know most of you want her or are on the fence about getting her please let me know in the comments below any questions about this doll and I will answer them as best as I can. So let's get started. First of all, like my friend Ryland, who please go and follow him. He is, uh, I believe, a Disney son of an artist. He's called Ryland. I will link his profile in the description below. He does lovely Disney uh, doll reviews. Like him, he wears white gloves. Uh, to prevent dirt and dust um, on his dolls when he reviews them and like uh, with me I want to do the same because I don't want my fingers all over them because these are quite expensive dolls and we need to keep them in good condition. So yeah enough said let's get into the uh, review. So you've got the classic Disney store logo at the top and this wallpaper is actually gorgeous, I've just noticed it now. It's got a lovely um, cream design and it's got like pictures of the rose, it's got the beasts um, kind of like art, like symbol. And then it's got Belle holding the rose, it's really detailed actually, it's really lovely and I've got a bit of a dent up there, oh no! And then 6 Plus uh, with a mirror on it. This gold here, detailing, is a lovely metallic gold, which is beautiful. Very regal, very royal, very lovely. And it's got this type of detailing here on the box itself, which is lovely. And then moving on down, the same detailing like the top. And then it says, limited edition, one of 5,500, Bell. I'm so happy to get this doll, so happy. She's beautiful. And again with the detailing here. Here's a detailing at the side. And then here is the back. So, like I said, the same type of detailing, very lovely. It says Disney's Beauty and the Beast. And then if I pull the ribbon down, uh, I'll let you read the um, description at the back. Just pause and read if you like. And then it does have a ribbon at the back. Um, nice, like, detail that they put. But here is the right, uh, the description in French. And then it says certificate of authenticity and display stand included. And then extra stuff at the bottom, the barcode. And her retail price is currently £100. She's still available on the Disney Store website. Um, and some of the UK stores, the bigger ones, will have her still. I know she's selling out quite quickly, but I, there is still some available if you would like her. If not, you have to pay uh, her quite a bit more from the secondary market, like eBay. So, yeah. Also, just to let you guys know, got more detailing at the back and more of that ribbon to hold up the doll, but I wouldn't recommend just holding the doll like that because it could break because it's not sturdy for a very quite heavy 17 inch doll. So guys, I will be back and I will take the cover off and show you Belle in more detail. Hey guys, I'm back and I've got Belle out of the plastic sleeve and she's absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> like, um, 
I can't explain to you how amazing she is. But first of all, like in my other Disney limited edition doll reviews, I want to show you the certificate first. Now mine came a little bit bent, just like this, which is a bit disappointing. Actually, it looks bent on both sides. Um, and it won't come off. <laughs> Um, which is a bit disappointing that uh, the certificate is a little bit bent But yeah, this is my certificates in this plastic cover it says Beauty and the Beast and my number is 3999 out of 5500 so uh, the UK does get quite like the last thousand or two for the limited edition dolls so yeah, here we are. First of all, we're going to start off with the background. It's a lovely 3D effect of the ballroom. Um, if you guys seen the film, which is in cinemas now and theatres in America and obviously around the world, um, this is the ballroom uh, background scene. There's lovely, lovely chandeliers, the, like banisters, lovely marble, lovely um, background at that Disney store. Uh, did for this doll absolutely breathtaking and this film was amazing by the way I've seen it twice um, on release day and then yesterday and I love it I loved it again more the second time to be honest but it's such a great film so first of all I want to show you her head it's like a braided bun with this like feathered like band holding it together it's lovely and detailed and her hair is really nice and um, long and it's gel to keep her hair in place and her head is rooted it's not the wig and cap mask like the classic Belle doll uh, the live action one sorry about the orange but yeah, here guys, she's rooted, so she looks a lot, a lot, a lot better. Now, let's get on to her face. Her face is actually, guys, really, really stunning. Um, it's a lot better than the classic doll, like I said. She's got lovely freckles. Um, her brows look very realistic. She has very minimal makeup, probably a bit of blushing and lipstick, and that's about it. She does have rooted eyelashes, but it's quite light with brown eyeshadow. Freckles, like I said, are still there, but it's very minimal. It's not overpowering her face. Hint of blushing and pink lips. You guys, um, some, of, some of you guys are quite scared of this doll. It's quite, they think it's quite similar to the Belle doll, but it's not, it's not at all. And she is a lot better in person, trust me. Moving on down, here is her necklace, which is fastened there with her dress. And apparently it's the tree the tree of life or something like that. <clears throat> so yeah, and then her dress is just this lovely like feather <laughs> detailing, which is quite uh, movie accurate. It's lovely. Obviously nothing is best like the iconic... A bell dress but this one is very nice then it goes down like an upside down triangle at the bottom and it's two separate pieces so you could undo the dress if you wish to do so to open her moving on down she's got the biggest um, <laughs> biggest ball dress I've ever seen but not as big as Cinderella's live actions but this one is huge, guys, like, sticking out at the bottom. Absolutely beautiful. Lovely detailing, like the rhinestones uh, detail. I'm in love, literally. I love, I, love, I love her so much. I think she's beautiful. One thing I must say, the dress is not movie accurate. Normally, it starts with the, with the layers like this, but it starts here. And goes down into three. Um, 
but um, when they were produ- produ- pro- producing this film and making it a couple of years back, her dress actually was meant to look like this, but they changed it last minute. But at that time, all the dolls and merchandise were being produced. So they didn't have time to go and change it. Any less, she still looks beautiful. Her dress is beautiful. And she's got a pinky ring here. And I almost forgot to mention she's got her gold cuff ring right there and you can take it off if you wish to do so it's not painted on which is lovely so she's got her rhinestones here which is supposed to resemble and reflect the Swarovski crystals which was on the dress uh, near the on the um, final design this lovely detailing all the way around um, like a leaf with a star detailing embroidery which is lovely lots and lots of layers but obviously I can't show you how great it is because I'm not taking it out of the box unfortunately but I have MM Disney which is Mario and Rylan son of a Disney artist who have unboxed her and you can watch their reviews on her out of box all close up and everything same detailing here like at the other side and if you could see at the back, she's got like some uh, um, fabric strands that go down on her dress, which is lovely, which I think is really, really nice. Because her dress is so big, you can't see her shoes at the bottom. Um, but it's exactly the same one in the film. It's very detailed and very lovely. So guys, this is my review on the live action limited edition Belle doll, uh, which is Emma Watson who's playing her. She's beautiful. I really recommend her. I really, really, really do, guys. Um, I don't just buy dolls just for the sake of it. I buy dolls which I believe um, have quality and look beautiful. Um, I didn't think I would get this doll, but my, my dad bought her for me and I think she's beautiful. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below and I will do my best to answer them. Have a good day, guys. Bye.